whole new level. There are souvenirs shaped like, well, use your imagination and your beverage will be served in a very special cup. This coffee is not as bad as it looks. If you've got to go, it may as well be a memorable experience. You're watching Destination Thailand. Luxury takes many forms. The Riviera Dong Tien captures the very best of today's lifestyle. Building on the success of Riviera Wongamat, Riviera Dong Tien will offer the ultimate in gracious living. 46 stories, stylish modern facilities, a family paradise just steps from the beach. Riviera Dong Tien, a new journey begins. Nidor Kornik is one of the most experienced developers in Thailand. Stephen O'Dell from Soda is an award-winning architect. Colin Okashimo is Asia's modern landscape Zen master. This is the team behind Padia's exciting new project, South Point. Developed by Kingdom Property, South Point is financed by Kung Thai Bank and has full EIA approval. Invest with the best and don't miss the point. You're watching Destination Thailand. When it comes to journeying around the waters offshore from Shumpon in Thailand's south, the best known high-speed ferry service is run by Long Praya. The company has its own jetty on the edge of town and from here you can set off to explore some of Thailand's most famous island escapes. Shumpon is a wonderful gateway to the islands of the Gulf of Thailand and as you can see it's a great day for exploring. So let's go. We cruised past the Shumpon Archipelago and then ventured on through turquoise waters. Now there are many ways to journey around this part of Thailand, but Long Praya has been taking people through the waters here on catamarans for quite a few years now, Kit. That's right, isn't it? Uh, almost. No, more than 10 years. Yeah. <laughs> now, um, I guess Shumpon is a great spot to start a journey if you're going to go out to some of the islands. Yes, actually most of the foreigners uh, came from, come from Bangkok, from Khao San Road, uh, with our bus to Shumpon, and then we have a catamaran, high-speed catamaran from Shumpon to Khao Tao and Kanang Yuan. So Shumpon is, is, I guess, a great starting point if right. you're going to do a day trip or you want to spend a bit of time in the islands yeah, as well. Yeah. Uh, we have day trip, day, uh, daily snuggling trip from Shumpon to Konang Yuan. Uh, we go every day and also we have a uh, short trip if you have uh, less time. You can go with uh, our boat from Shumpon, go to Shumpon Marine Park. It's only short trip uh, and visit like four, four islands around. Yeah. And what do you think is, is special about Shumpon? Shumpon actually is better than you, you thought because uh, Shumpon is a small city but have a lot of nature a lot of they have they have a lot of uh, marine park island more than I can't remember but it's, we have we we, uh, we survey is more than 10 island 10 island diving spot yeah. so it's very beautiful and very fresh
many idyllic escapes, as you can see in this part of the Gulf. But our first stop is Lankachu Island, which I'm told is great for snorkeling. So we're going to find out. Port Lankachu is a large bird's nest concession island. It features white sandy beaches and rocky limestone cliffs that beckon to be climbed. Below the gentle waves, the island is surrounded by several ranges of coral reefs, so it is a popular diving and snorkeling spot. Now you've got to admit, this looks like the perfect escape. absolutely gorgeous. Not only is it clear, it's very warm. It's a wonderful thing about the Gulf of Thailand is it never really gets cold. All right, so let's go and see what's out there. You'll discover plenty of hard and soft corals and a large amount of sea life such as badfish, travelly, fusiliers, turtles, and seasonal whale sharks. On shore, you can enjoy the beach. Or explore the island's small caves including Tam Nok Nang En, or the Swallow Cave, which has a stone inscription by King Rama V. Our journey continued on through the waters of the Gulf of Thailand to another lovely island escape. Our journey has continued on here to Pitak Island, which as you can see is another idyllic escape. And it's here that you can have a homestay experience. Pitak Island has pristine natural surroundings and a focus on ecotourism. Its name actually means ghost calling. The fishing community here lives in small houses built on wooden poles in the water and along the shores you'll also see villagers at work in the local coconut plantations. Yes, you can eat it at your own risk. <laughs> Oh yeah, it's pretty good. The seafood on offer here is spectacular, so make sure you order some barbecued and spicy Thai dishes. If you want to stay a bit longer, the homestay is great value and a true rustic introduction to island life in Thailand. Now the nice thing about rain in the tropics is it really cools things down. Now if you'd like to have a homestay experience here on Pitak Island, it'll cost you around 750 baht per person a day. Now that includes your three daily meals and your accommodation. We tried the food, which was great. Let's see what else you get for 750 baht. This is not bad, is it? Pretty cute. 
There we go. Mosquito nets. Probably need them here. Fan. No TV. I guess there's no internet. But it's very peaceful. And there we go. Another beautiful day in paradise. There is a lot to see in the enchanting province of Champagne. Before you pass through this sleepy gateway to the south, make sure you linger here for a little longer. You'll have both a warm welcome and some laid-back holiday memories. Visit us on Facebook and tell us what you like. Or check out our website at www.destinationthailand.tv Our presenters have their hair cut, coloured and styled at Moga Salons, now available at eight locations in Thailand. Our presenters use Philip B's organic skin and hair products, available now at the Emporium, Bangkok. This program was brought to you by